क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकीडा Hello friends in the previous topic we have discussed about the transition elements and now in this topic we are going to talk about the electronic configuration of d block elements so what are the general electronic configuration of those elements this is what i am going to talk about in this topic So friends, now in this topic, I am going to talk about the electronic configuration of D-block elements. So we have also understand that is D-block elements are divided into four series, that is 3D series, 4D series, 5D series, and 6D series. And suppose in that case, if I am talking about the general electronic configuration of the 3D series elements, so in that case, we'll get to know that is that is ranging from that is scandium to zinc. Suppose if I talk about, so for that we have a reference also, that is from scandium to zinc, from ytterbium to cadmium. that is it is belonging to that is 4d series so this is 5d series that is it starts with the lanthanum that is 57 but this lanthanum and actinium so this all are basically the f block elements but based on that we have a different topic that is f block element we are going to talk about in our future lecture but starting with the so talking about the 5d series that is it starts with lanthanum and ends with that is hg that is mercury and for 6d series it starts with that is actinium and it ends with that is copper nesium that is uub and based on that let us understand the general electronic configuration of this elements so talking about the 3d series so in that case the general electronic configuration is nothing but we could write it here as that is argon because argon consists of 18 electrons and so after that we could find that is 3d orbital so that for 3d orbital it will consist of that is 1 to 10 electrons while the 4s orbital it will consist of that is 1 to 2 electrons so why i am writing this electronic configuration even that i will hear it in the next lecture but now let us understand the 4d series so the 4d series has an electronic configuration we could the general electronic configuration that is what we could write it here as that is krypton so since this was 3d and this was 4s now this one would be 4d ranging from that is 1 to 10 electrons and this one would be basically 5s ranging from 1 to 2 electrons so talking about that is 5d series so the 5d series have a electronic configuration the general electronic configuration is nothing but we could write it here as xenon and now i could write it here as 5d that is ranging from 1 to 10 electrons and this is 6s orbital that is 2 electrons so talking about the next one that is 6d series so it starts with that is radon and it has basically 6d orbital that is ranging from 1 to 10 electrons and here basically it would be 7s2 so why the name is 3d 4d and 5d i hope you have got it that is since we have got to know that is the d orbital so since we can observe here that is the last electron it enters in the 3d orbital so that's the reason it is belonging to 3d series here it is 4d series 5d and this is 6d so this were all the general electronic configuration of the that is d block element but now let me give you the electronic configuration for that is 3d series so for that we have so friends let me start about the electronic configuration for 3d series so it starts with scandium so for that we could write the electronic configuration as argon which has an 18 electrons argon 3d 1 4s 2 so we could write it in this way suppose talking about the next one that is titanium So in this case, we could write it here as argon 3d2 4s2. Talk about the next one, vanadium. So we could write it here as argon 3d3 4s2. Talk about the next one, that is chromium. That is 24. We could write it here as argon. this one would be not 3d4 this one would be 3d5 4s1 so why this different electronic configuration this is what i am going to talk about in my next topic but for now let us understand the next one that is the next one would be manganese that would be having a 25 electrons and this is the atomic number for that so therefore we could write it here as argon 3d5 4s so this is manganese and now let me talk about the next one that is for iron which has an atomic number of 26 so we could write it here as argon 3d6 4s2 about the next one that is 
cobalt that is 27 we could write it here as argon 3d7 4s2 about the next one that is nickel that is 28 we could write it here as argon 3d8 4s2 talk about copper that is 29 we could write it here as argon 3d10 4s1 even i am going to talk about this one and talk about the next one that is the last one that is for 3d series it is zinc 30 we could write it here as argon 3d10 4s2 so therefore this was nothing but the electronic configuration and this is what we are going to talk about in my next lecture also so here basically we have found a difference in chromium as well as in copper so why they are showing the abnormal electronic configuration based on that i have a different lecture but this is what i want to talk about the electronic configuration of the d block elements and that's it so thank you friends for watching this video i hope i'll see you next time till then don't forget to subscribe you get a channel thank you so much